It's day 140 of the project and today's scent of the day is another brand new release. And this time it's the latest one from the house of Montal, which goes by the name of Wood on Fire. The notes in this one look very interesting and it certainly looks the part in this bright red metallic finish. So to find out whether this is a hit or a miss, as well as everything else you need to know about this one, stay tuned to Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 140 of my Fragrance 365 project, where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. Today's featured scent is Wood on Fire from the House of Montal. It was launched right at the very end of 2021 and the perfumer behind this one is, as always, Pierre Montal. So we're now right in the middle of February and there's not a single review of this one on YouTube, Fragrantica, Base Notes, Perfumo uh, or even on Facebook. So it's looking like I might be the only person in the world that's bought this one so far. So I'm pretty glad to bring you this exclusive first look. Yeah, so into the presentation, and the box is the uh, the same as all the other Montal fragrances, and it comes in this metallic gold coloured box with a, a bit of a textured finish, and it includes the uh, Montal branding, which is printed in black. There's a, a red sticker at the bottom, which includes the uh, name of the fragrance and also the concentration, which is uh, an eau de parfum. Inside the box, uh, the fragrance comes in the usual uh, Montal drawstring pouch and this time it's in a, a black and gold colourway. And then the bottle itself is like a lightweight aluminium and it comes in this gorgeous metallic red colour uh, with black with gold accents. And the, actual, the camera doesn't do this justice, it looks actually better in real life, it's a gorgeous looking bottle. Uh, again you get the gold accents um, with the name of the, uh, the house at the front there and also we've got the uh, the name of the fragrance there the size and the concentration it also gets the uh, annoying little uh, montal um, atomizer safety pin at the top there which also comes in gold it um, features the montal logo but for the rest of the review as always when i do a montal fragrance i'll remove this pin because it does get quite annoying when it's ting 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 in outside of the uh, the bottle the sprayer is decent quality and overall, uh, the Montal fragrances all look fantastic in their various colour schemes, uh, but when they're all in your hand, they do feel a little bit lightweight. And the bottles aren't full, so it is a little bit of a strange experience when you buy one for the first time. The pin also does get really annoying when it's just pinging on the side of the bottom all the time, so I would, uh, I would always remove that one, but that's probably me just being a bit of a grumpy old man. The top notes in this one are lemon, smoked cedar and frankincense. In the heart we've got burnt vetiver, Nepalese oud and sandalwood. And in the base there's amber, tonka bean, vanilla, toffee and labdanum. Yeah, so this one was a total blind buy and the two things that I didn't want this to be was firstly just a copy of like By the Fireplace by Maze and Margiela and secondly I didn't want it to be too smoky because where I'm from uh, smelling like you've been stood in front of a bonfire all night is not a great way to smell and the first thing that I do ever do if I ever smell of any kind of smoke is just go and take a shower so uh, being too smoky is not for me uh, but I'm pleased to say that this is neither. Uh, it does have quite a smoky introduction and after the first time that I sprayed it for the very first time I thought oh no here we go again and I didn't really like it because the smokiness from the cedar and the frankincense was kind of the first thing that did hit me however this is quite fleeting and it's not long before it develops and kind of reveals its true identity this is a really sweet and mysterious like oriental type smelling fragrance that I think is really addictive you do get that smoked cedar and a bit of woodiness from the oud in the uh, beginning of the fragrance but it's it's all about the sweet notes as it dries down with the toffee, the tonka bean and amber and a little bit of labdan and producing like a sweet leathery type aroma. It's a warm and very smooth scent with the vanilla like creaminess and to be honest the name of the scent is a little bit misleading because the wood on fire part of the fragrance lasts for about 5 or 10 minutes. 
I wouldn't let the wood on fire name put you off because I was a bit worried about what I was going to get in this one uh, when I placed my order but it's actually really pleasant and likeable it's got elements uh, of both of these two from Isimiyaki with the sweet amber from the amber noir uh, and also the like the smoky incense that you get in the Owen Sons version so if you're familiar with these two and then morph them together add a little bit of uh, toffee sweetness uh, you kind of get what this uh, wood on fire smells like This is an autumn and winter fragrance and it's one that I'd wear if I was going to be wrapping up warm and heading outdoors during the colder months of the year. It's a very warm and comforting scent that draws you in and like I say it's one of those scents that just makes you want to keep going back in for another sniff. It's definitely a unisex scent uh, and I could see both men and women enjoying this in equal measures but in my opinion it does lean a touch more masculine than it does feminine. It's also uh, quite dark and mysterious with a, like a grown up feel about it so it'll probably appeal more to people over the age of 25 or maybe even over the age of 30. It'd be a great date night fragrance because it's very uh, seductive and very mysterious and one that you could wear dressed up for formal occasions and to be honest out of all the uh, Montal fragrances that I own or that I've sampled I'd say that this is one of the ones that's really easy to wear and I wouldn't have an issue wearing this like a, as a work or an office fragrance because the dry down is very pleasant. It is too sweet for the warmer climates though, so if you live in a, a warm country you may want to get a sample of this before going ahead and blind buying it stupidly like I did. In terms of performance, it's a Montal, it's an order part from Concentration, so it's going to perform. Although from the three or four full wearings that I've given it, I don't think it's uh, quite as potent and room filling as some of the other Montals that I own. Some of the others will fill a room with just a couple of sprays, but I don't really get that with this one. And I'd probably be brave enough to maybe go four or five sprays with this if you really want to get yourself noticed. You're going to get a good nine hours of longevity and decent projection for that time. Uh, but for me, it's just one of those where I kind of stop detecting it for a while and then I'll pick it up with a, like a surprising little waft as I'm moving about. Performance is something that you don't really ever need to worry about with Montal fragrances though because they're, they're all pretty beast mode. Yeah, this is one of them situations where I didn't have any expectations really for this fragrance, but I am pleasantly surprised by it. It's definitely niche quality with a hint of maybe like a, a Baccarat Rouge 540 in there. It doesn't smell like Baccarat Rouge 540. It's kind of in that kind of uh, ballpark. And if you enjoy your darker, sweet and uh, mystical type aromas, then I think that this one uh, is one that you should try out for yourself. The dry down is really nice, the performance is strong and the bottle presentation is gorgeous so all in all a really solid release and I'd give this one a, a solid 9 out of 10. Yeah, so once again that's about it for today's scent of the day but don't forget coming up in the next few episodes I've got some really fantastic smelling cheap fragrances that'll have you smelling like a million dollars without breaking the bank. I've also got another perfume parlor haul coming up with some real beauties in there so that's definitely not one to be missed and as always if you found this video useful please don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel it's always great to hear your opinions your thoughts and your critiques on all other fragrances that feature throughout this 365 project so don't forget to keep your comments coming down in them in that comments section so once again thank you very much for tuning into this latest episode stay safe keep smelling fresh and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye-bye for now.